Good morning everybody and welcome to another What's Up vlog. Uh, I'm going to keep this intro really short and sweet because I'm absolutely knackered. I, I got zero sleep last night and woke up a little bit late for this ride so I'm basically scrambling around to get everything set up and jump on. But this is the Zwift Academy Sprint Ride. Uh, it's actually the last one I'm scheduled to lead out um, but I'm going to try and add myself to a few others, uh, maybe evening ones for the UK. Uh, but this was the last date I could sort of commit myself to uh, due to, to workload and other bits and pieces. So, uh, but I will, I will try and get back in. Um, I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to keep this intro nice and short, quickly spin up my legs and I'll, I'll catch you in a minute on the, uh, on the start pen after I've woken up, hopefully. I need some more coffee. Right, see you in a minute. So, I've done my warm up, got my coffee. Woken up a little bit, six, the six kilometre warm up did, did some kind of a job of waking me up. Got a brilliant looking group again here and um, as much as I, I shouldn't single people out, I always tend to and I'm going to just say I am absolutely delighted and stunned that a certain Mr Gab Santoro is in this race. Gab, if uh, for any of you that aren't familiar, well actually for those of you that are as well with my, my previous vlogs, Gab is in my first ever vlog when we did Ride London two years ago and if I'm perfectly honest, if I hadn't bumped into Gab some way up Box Hill, I quite possibly wouldn't have finished that ride because I was cramping up, I was in, I was in a bit of a mess and um, Gab was uh, definitely my Florence Nightingale for the uh, <laughs> for that rest of that ride. So absolutely chuffed to bits that, uh, that Gab's here. We've only seen each other once since that point, which was a purely fluke meeting when WKG did their first in real life ride. And again, we were closing in on Box Hill and um, sure enough, Mr. Santoro rolled up behind me and uh, I just heard a hey buddy from, uh, from over my shoulder and uh, it was Gab. So absolutely, absolutely fantastic to see you here, my friend. Glad to uh, see you've finally seen the light and joined the, uh, the Zwift revolution. Uh, so great to have you. Anyway, and, and he's not the only one I'm chuffed to see. There's, uh, there's loads of names which I'll try and read out while we're riding, but I've got 30 seconds now until the start. So let's just get a quick message to everyone. And we've got 111. There you go. And more significance in, uh, in that number for me. We've got 111 riders in this one which is fantastic, and we have eight seconds. Let's try and get this up. So usual format, Zwift Sprint, Zwift Academy Sprints, roll at about two watts per kilogram, and sprint on the mail. And there we go. Enjoy the ride, guys. Thank you, G Horsley, for the ride on. I'm just trying to uh, make sure everybody's nice and bunched and tight in this opening. And RV, thank you buddy also for the ride on. I'm starting to think the, the problems I had with screen recording before, I actually know it wouldn't have been London. I, I was just about to say, I think it's when there's a really big ride, big group, and we're on the London course, seems to cause more lag for my poor little uh, 2011 or whatever MacBook Pro. Um, and it's, uh, that's why I, I had a screen recording crash before, but I th thinking about it, I think that's actually Watopia. Uh, Jerry Delport saying he's still waking up, yeah. Tell me about it, Jerry. This is my second cup of coffee in about, well, about half an hour since leaping out of bed. My alarm must have gone off and I must have completely ignored it. My wife would have been up, all the kids would have been up, they're all gone off to school. And I basically sprung out of my bed when I saw the time and the house was completely empty other than myself Obi the dog, Chewy the cat and Kylo the kitten Hey Mr Kenneth Scramstead Great to see you buddy Thanks for the ride on
Hey, cheers, Oliver. Thanks for the ride on, my friend. I've got loads of um, congratulations to fire out. Start with the, the obvious one, the, uh, the World Championships. And the obvious one to me is the fifth place for the newest WKG member, Mr. Ben Swift. Ben Swift? Ben Swift. <laughs> uh, all right, obviously he's not a WKG member, but only a week ago, he was in this very ride with us doing the Thrift Academy sprints. And uh, he was incredibly well behaved and disciplined, stayed nice and tight with the leader all the way through. And uh, I think that was clearly training for how well he used the peloton yesterday to get himself up into the top five at the World Championship. So I'm sure you watch this, Ben, you know, most of Team Sky do. And you, uh, have you moved to UAE, I think it is. Um, I'm pretty sure they do as well. So, <laughs> well done, buddy. Excellent job. Well done to that other guy as well, whoever it was that won. I forget his name. Um, <laughs> no, <sighs> stunning. I've got an even bigger man crush on the guy now. Absolutely superb stuff. Uh, outside of the World Championships, hang on one second, let's try and pull that front group back in. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a split going on here. Let's try and get everybody back. Um, what was I saying? Oh, congratulations. Right, outside of the World Championships, massive well done to anyone that took part in Velo Birmingham. I'm getting mixed reports. It sounded like a really good event, apart from possibly one feed station, which was very very understocked and um, by all accounts had huge queues of people that weren't basically able to get serviced after waiting for however long but like I say I think that's sort of an isolated area of what was by all accounts a pretty decent ride so well done to everybody that took part and completed that uh, well done also Sean Lowe for taking part in the London Letap, is that what it's called? Um, I think there were a few others that got involved in that as well. So another big ride, well done chaps and chapesses. Um, I'm sure there are others I should be mentioning, but I can't. Uh, those, those two big rides are the ones that stick in my mind. Uh, the one I'm not going to say anything about yet because I've managed to avoid all coverage of it so that I don't see any spoilers is the... Uh, the Aussie E-Crit final. I kept seeing pictures popping up and quickly flicking away from them so I didn't get any kind of indication of the result. But whoever it was, I'll congratulate you now. And also congratulate the teams, the presenters, everybody that was involved in putting that together because it looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, so well done, guys. Anyway, back to today's ride. We've still got that split up front. There's maybe... I don't know, maybe 10 riders. Gone a few seconds off the front. But we've got the sprint coming up, so I will regroup everybody after that point. Let's get ready to hit this uh, instruction for everybody to start sprinting. I always try and do it a little bit early because there's a slight delay in the message going from my finger to the screen, it seems. Where's that 300 board? I think it's there, so here we go. I've got an arrow, might as well use that. Ten, ten point one. Eleven fourteen for me. I think that's my PB. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> now I've got to try and get up to speed and regroup everybody. That was wicked, though. Felt quite good in that one.
Well, I'm pretty sure that was my PB by one hundredth of a second. <laughs> so uh, that's clearly coffee powered. And uh, I think obviously it's the first of what will be four or five sprints. So that's probably going to be the best I'm going to get. Oh, I had an aero as well, didn't I? So that would definitely be the best I'm going to get. And uh, really good regrouping after that sprint. Everybody, look at that. All, however many there were. I think it changed from 111 to 112 just as we started. So, I oh, mind you, I think it's even bigger than that. If I look at, I don't know how many show on the side screen there, but there's 110 plus however many are in that list. Thank you. Uh, I was going to say F Rain Builder, but thank you, Frame Builder, for the ride on. Let's try and whack a few out now. Uh, Essa KB, I think that's who got the, uh, I think that's who got the sprint time. I, uh, I forgot to sort of make a note of it in my head. <laughs> I've not seen, I've not seen Gab Santoro since uh, uh, since the start pen. So I'm not absolutely sure where he is, but I really want to give him a ride on and let him know that I can see him. Oh, I missed that. I think there was some kind of countdown for something, but I was waffling away, so I didn't see what the what the message was, what the countdown was for. Hey, Mr. Dave Crook. Thanks for the ride on, my friend. I don't think you're here, are you? Obviously just watching, what is it over there? So it's going to be 10, 11 o'clock at night where you are. So uh, thanks for dropping in to give a ride on. Much appreciated. There's that board. There we go. I don't know why I did that time, <laughs> it wasn't quicker. Good stuff guys, that regrouped really nicely after that sprint, so we'd split up quite a bit but everybody in front eased off really well so that we could all pull back in together and uh, so we'll all be attacking this, this next sprint pretty much in a group, so great work chaps. Coming up to the arch, a few guys breaking off a bit early, that's all right, as a, as a whole we've pretty much stayed together for that lap, that's brilliant. I've got a draft boost, which gives, gives something, right, let's try and remember that name now, S. Ikebi. All right. let's get ready with the go, here we go, let's get ready with my draft, there we go. Start up in the cadence a bit. Sit in the wheels of these really fast guys. Right, go. Ah, oh, faded well early that time. Uh, 9.2 SKB. 
Jesus. <laughs> Another PB for Kenneth. Good job, man. He's well and truly in the, the 10 second bracket. Now, I know uh, after buying his Neo, he struggled with sprints for a while because of the need to sort of change gear more frequently. And uh, he certainly found that form now. So uh, great stuff, buddy. Uh, the bunch have stayed really good actually after that sprint as well. I mean, we're in a line, but there's no huge gaps, so pat yourselves on the back guys, that's great stuff. Pippa, Pippa Graham, Team ODZ, thanks very much for the ride on. Great to see you. Okay, we've got a few, uh, few splits going on again. Uh, it's a bit of a shame because we've certainly not been going too slow in the bunch back here. We're sort of holding the pace pretty well. I know it's hard, it's more often than not, it's absolutely not intentional, but you do also get the odd Lone Ranger that uh, feels the paces beneath them and uh, joins the ride for purely for the reason of sprinting away from everyone it seems which I've never fully understood just join a faster ride if this is too slow but uh, like I say that is very much the minority most splits happen purely through lack of concentration either by the ride leader being myself or um, just everybody who is not completely sort of gazing at the at the times the whole, whole time okay here we go again 9.2 to beat. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to happen. <laughs> Sado IKB challenged himself to beat the 9.2. I'm not even tackling it this time. <sighs> Look at these. <laughs> Speed of some of these guys coming through. Unreal. <sighs> oh, still 9.2. Didn't quite get there. El Chang Yu. Came close. Of course, I think there's four riders sub 10 seconds there. Unreal. P. Collis with a PB. Well done, man. Ah. Well done, Steve Morgan, for breaking the 11 second barrier. I'm not there yet. <laughs> One day. Kenneth's done another PB. So he's improved with every lap so far. The first sprint being a PB, anyway, over previous rides. And then every lap since, chipping away at it. Unbelievable. I definitely go the other way. <laughs> and RB trying to join the sub 10, sub 10 second gang. Man, I just want to get in the sub 11 second gang. I've got an arrow this time, so I'll have a crack. Thank you everybody for your, uh, your kind comments regarding the new WKG jersey uh, and shorts, bib shorts design. I'm really chuffed you like it. Uh, obviously a couple weren't as keen on it, but the vast majority was really positive. So thanks very much. Thanks for the comments as well. And even comments that aren't uh, necessarily sort of congratulatory or <laughs> in full approval of the new design I always appreciate the feedback and uh, it uh, helps you learn for the future so thank you very much to everybody that uh, took the time to comment I'm going to run a, a thread in the WKG group on Facebook this week to gauge idea for the idea and numbers of all for the order um, as I mentioned previously it's a WKG, uh, sorry, it's an Endura kit again. Um, but we're going to go primarily for the a slightly more relaxed fit than this, uh, this race fit jersey. Um, although, depending on numbers, hopefully I'll be able to keep the race fit in there as an option uh, for the more slender among you. <laughs> and uh, 
but like I say, that will, that will depend on reaching a minimum order quantity, I think. But uh, I will find out prices, get full details up on, in the forum, and by all means, just stick your name next to the, the thread if you're interested. One thing that was pointed out, which didn't really occur to me, but probably should have done, is the uh, I do it in spandex slogan I've used on this kit and on a few other products and carried it over onto the new kit. Um, there was a, a feeling that it possibly kind of cheapened the brand slightly, uh, sort of lowered the tone just a little bit. I don't think that was anyone being oversensitive. I think that's pro probably a fair point. Uh, so what I've done today is open a discussion in the forum for suggestions in a few words, four, five, six words of a slogan that kind of sums up Team WKG to you. We've had some great suggestions already. Um, and once, once we've got enough to choose from, I'll shortlist it and then get an idea of what everybody prefers. And I think we'll possibly put that on the back of the jersey in place of the I do it in spandex slogan. So I certainly wouldn't want to be uh, putting any, anybody off by a very small part of the design which isn't, it doesn't, doesn't have to be there. It's something that actually was a slogan for something prior to the original kit even being made and I just carried it through. But uh, if it's going to be a slightly uh, contentious point, I'd rather move it, remove it. So do put your suggestions in the forum on WKG forum on Facebook. Whew. That little clip hill and talking is taking it out of me a bit. It's a bit irritating because I want to be fully fresh to try and break 11 seconds on this sprint. Maybe a bit more coffee, which is now cold. <laughs> Oh, another quick point. I mentioned in the last vlog, anyone that's ordered a t-shirt, we'd had some delays because some, some of the blank stock hadn't arrived. So there were quite a few that I just wasn't able to print because I didn't have anything to print on. That all arrived over the weekend. And in actual fact, has all, they have now all been printed. Um, barring the, the league winner t-shirts, which will, should all be printed by today. So everybody that ordered the t-shirt that hasn't yet received it, they will all be with you within the next couple of days, especially UK ones. And I'm so grateful for your patience. It was a really frustrating thing for me. Uh, just not being able to do anything, obviously, without any blank t-shirts here. So I've over-ordered this time, so we shouldn't have that, that backlog again, fingers crossed. And uh, like I say, everyone that's ordered and not yet received it, I should be with you in the next day or two. Oh, there's actually five riders in sub 10 seconds. Wow. Still 9.2, what did I get? Not a PB, damn. I think I hit the draft too late, uh, the power up too late. 11.22, that's not bad. So that was probably the penultimate sprint. I think we'll have time for one more. I tell you what, if we're on for a, a good distance for a, a two watt per kilogram ride, it just goes to show how well everybody's been working together. Hey, thanks Ian Hall from TFC for the ride on. 
It's right in front of me. Let's see if I haven't already. Let's see if I can fire one back. Ah, uh, already done it. I still haven't seen Gab Santoro in here. I'd really like to. Thank you guys for the, the nice messages. It's easy being a good ride leader when the, the group are really good. Someone's put thanks bacon. Uh, I think that's uh, a thought we all share. So this, will, this will be the last sprint I think coming up in a couple of Ks. Okay, final sprint coming up guys. Let's try and make it a good one. All right, I've got a, a draft boost, but no, to uh, no aero this time. So, i am absolutely got no chance of beating my PB. Is anyone gonna take the 9.2? I'll be stunned if they did. Ah, 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 still 9.2. Oh, last couple of minutes. I'm not going to bother calling everybody back because I'm going slower than I should be anyway. <laughs> Thank you again for all the nice messages and for being a fantastic group. Again, Swift Academy groups, bloody awesome. A couple of sort of early on splits, as, as seems to be the norm actually. Everybody just sort of finding their own, their own level of fitness for that particular morning and uh, takes a little while to settle things down, but it always does. And then it's always a really nice tight bunch. To the <laughs> SKB was about to quit, but he needs to finish the full uh, two minutes that are remaining, or now one minute 15 remaining, in order to, uh, for that to be ticked off as the Zwift Academy ride. <sighs> uh, thank you, W Brown. Really appreciate that. And I still didn't see Gab. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right, right forwards now, see if I can spot anyone. Get some ride-ons in the process. Oh, that's it, that's the end of the ride. Thank you all so much. Excellent stuff. And like I say, that, uh, that finishes off my Zwift Academy ride leading, potentially. Uh, I'm not down for, for any others at the moment, but like I said, I will probably try and put my name down for a few more at a different time slot if I can uh, make those times work for me. So, all right, well done SKB for a stunning sprint. Well done to the other five or six riders that managed to beat the 10 second barrier. Well done to everybody that got a PB, including myself and pat my own back. Um, yeah, awesome stuff, great fun. Thank you Zwift Academy again for organizing such fantastic rides. And, uh, I'm going to try and wake up properly now. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Ciao.